what you're looking at right now is a simple 3x3 grid which is very popular particularly in instagram this is actually not technically called an instagram grid because this is this kind of design has been around for quite some time but it has been popularized by instagram simply because when you visit an instagram profile you will be greeted by an arrangement of posts or photos in this manner so basically you will see three by three grid and you will see the latest content from that profile so this design is actually very simple and you can create one easily in canva and there are multiple methods you can try i'm going to show you from the easiest to the most difficult method to try so let's start with the easy solution to start i highly recommend to start with a social media template and particularly you want to select instagram post square so it's going to be a 1080p by 1080p image which means it's going to be proportional each square is going to be the same size you want to select this option and after that canva will open a new document a blank document where we can start adding an instagram grid design again the easiest solution is just going to the design template and then insert the template into your canvas so let's visit design and you want to search for instagram grid sometimes you can also use a keyword like three by three grid that will also work sometimes but instagram grid is much more popular and you'll see plenty of different styles but they are essentially the same they're just the same picture sorry they're, they're the same design but as you can see here this is one that i use and you can see there are multiple different images and you can change it later for example if i want to search for image for snowy mountain i should be able to click on the image and then drag it somewhere uh, among these images and if i click on this image and drag it to the middle you can see i can i can put the image into this section so that is the first method and i think this is the easiest for everyone you can just use any template from canva and you could incorporate that into your own design okay let's move on to the second method which is going to be a little more difficult but essentially it's still uh, very easy to follow okay let me remove this and okay so the easiest uh, in my opinion is just by using a grid from the element section so i'm going to search for three by three grid and on the graphic section you want to select see all and you should be able to see plenty of different options but they are more or less look the same so i guess i'm going to select this one okay right now you cannot see anything because the color is white but i'm going to change the background color to be black so you can see this section this content now let's make it bigger and after that i'm going to cover this square area to as a, uh, with a frame so let's visit lms again and i'm going to search for frame click all and we should be able to see this option i'm going to select a simple square frame and i'm going to carefully lay it over here Okay, let's duplicate and put it here let's duplicate it again sorry about that and yeah we can put it here now i'm going to click and hold the shift key on the keyboard and click on every single frame i'm going to duplicate them again and i'm going to do it again until every single one of them is available to be used as an image now we are ready to put some images into it the process is just similar to that with the one that i have shown you before just find any picture on the element section or you can upload an image from your computer and you can click and drag it anywhere in this area and the image will be inserted immediately so that's basically it. i'm not going to bore you with that so we're going to jump ahead and skip when all the photos all, all the frames have been filled and there you have it this is the result of the instagram grid file that we just created it's very simple and later you can download this document and share it on your social media account in any case i hope you find this video helpful and i will see you on the next video